Hello everybody, welcome to another week. I'm actually headed out. Oh, I've got stuff on my play suit. I don't really know what that is. Oh, it was really like that when I bought it. Damn. Oh well, I cut the tags off already. Anyway, um, I'm headed out to New Baby with Jamia and Charlie today. Being there in about 12, it's 10.30 at the moment. I do have a couple of things to do beforehand, which is why I'm leaving so much earlier. My battery is flashing, so just letting you guys know I'm headed out today and I'll see what I can vlog so I'll see you guys a little later on back in my car now and I only vlogged that little bit while we were at Nabibi um I don't really know why I didn't vlog anymore I just didn't um but I got a new ring. I've been looking for this for ages. No, ages, that's a lie. I went to Carousel yesterday and they said they don't, they didn't get any of this in. So then they were like, oh, Car uh, the city got some. So I was like, oh, I'm going tomorrow, today. So I'll go and get it. And luckily, because the Mickey Mouse one, there was only one fifty-four size 54 left. And that was a display one, unfortunately. I'm like, thank God I had one. Um, but yeah, it was so nice catching up with Josh, Elise, and Mia. Oh, I'm so glad I caught up with them before Christmas. Because last time I caught up with Josh, she got me a little Christmas present. So um, I got her some Pandora earrings, but she's already got them. <laughs> so there's a gift receipt so she can stop them for another pair that she'll, that she'll like or whatever. Um, and yeah, so I was supposed to meet a friend. I'm not supposed to. We came out. Oh. <laughs> we came up with um, meeting, me and Brenda came up with meeting in the city because um, I was going to be there anyway, but it's currently 3.30. Um, ja left at 3 because they had a photo shoot to go to, so Brenda wasn't going to be in the city till half past 4, so he finishes in half an hour and his workplace is not half an hour from here. So I'm going to go pick him up. And um, by the way, FYI, TMI, I'm busting because <laughs> I had quite a lot to drink and while everyone else had gone to the toilet I decided not to and now I'm totally regretting that choice. So I'm gonna go, gonna go use the toilet at Brendan's workplace and fingers crossed I'm gonna do a workout tonight. Brendan's changed up my workout routine. So I did one on Sunday. I have to do 50 each of squats, sit-ups, push-ups, dips and rows. Uh, doesn't matter how long it takes me ideally not throughout the whole day so like say I give myself an hour and a half to do it um, but if I can only do like 10 push-ups and move to the next exercise and then next time I will do like 20 push-ups but the whole goal is to get to 50 and I managed to do it within an hour with a lot of fluffing around from me so it could have been done maybe in 45 minutes but yeah hopefully I can smash another workout today because it makes me feel accomplished but I'm gonna go before I end up being late to pick Brendan up so I'll see you guys in a little bit what day is it? <laughs> It's no, Thursday. Thursday. Um, I have work in three hours, but I wasn't. Is it well, I was supposed to work today, but normally I don't work on this Thursday. So I work every second Thursday, and the one Thursday where I really, really want to do something, I have work. But we've decided we're going to come fruit picking anyway, because um, I mean it's not too far from home, and we've never done it before. Yeah, and there's apricots. <laughs> And nectarines. They're right there. I actually don't know if these are peaches. No, I think they're they nectarines. Look, yeah, they look right. shiny. But let's go. Let's go. Yeah. some nectarines and we went to a section that has some squishy ones but apparently they're the best they taste amazing <laughs> we're never gonna have nectarines that taste that way again also the biggest ones are at the top and we kind of need Richard for that <laughs> so next year that's the plan so, oh yeah, yeah. We're, it's around Christmas yeah but we are on the hunt for apricots at the moment I haven't actually seen anyone walk around with yellow in their bags I have one okay. 
That's one person. That's why we can't find it. They exist somewhere <laughs> and I really want them. But it's not down here and we're at the end of the orchard, so. Oh, where are they? Turn around and have a look. I'm gonna turn my camera off though because I'll be walking into the sun. And I have Asian eyes. <laughs> glad I caught that on camera. Oh God. <laughs> so yeah. Crystals in sync Cater. There's heaps on the floor. We have to go around to the next one. <laughs> the taste test for the apricot. One that we've found and it's got some marks but you know whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So Your good. reaction is so priceless. <laughs> that was so good. What if I just eat the fresh and not the skim? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not an orange. <laughs> Richard, this is what you've got. <laughs> you want to be with this? <laughs> so we're just looking at the apricots here and I found this little flat one. That one right there. It's going to take me forever to zoom in. But it's like squished between two branches and I kind of feel sad about it. So most of the apricots are either green or they're fallen on the gr oh, they're fallen on the ground already. However. Um, however, one of the owners or whatever he is, I don't know, um, told us they've got crates at the front that we can fill our bags with. But Crystal just pointed out that it kind of takes out the, what was the word you used? The fun. The fun. That was a very hard word to remember. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, because... Yeah, so Rayburn has prettier leaves mainly because it's just persimmon trees, but you can't even touch the fruit. So I feel like this is more fun. This is way more fun. Yeah. So I, in my 28 years of life, have never been stung by a bee. We All the time living in Australia <laughs> and still haven't been stung by a bee. We were walking through where the apricot trees are and I felt something stinging my leg. At first it was on my right leg and I kind of like swung it away. I thought it was just a fly or a mozzie. And then my left leg, the calf, it started hurting. And we looked at it and was it a bee? I don't know. Something buzzed around. Yeah. There is a beehive here. They do seem to make yeah. their own money. So, I mean, we're carrying bags of fruit around. And yeah. this is like their sweet heaven. This may be my last words. <laughs> minute and a half, two minutes. You, you're fine. And I, my, apparently my leg was swell, so that's fine. Just, just a lump. I mean, just I have an excuse lump. to not go to work now. Oh, sorry, I can't come to work. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, that's, on, that's on video now, you just said that. No, but I for real got stung, I swear. Crystal is witness. My best friend is witness, that's, that's legit. Yeah. <laughs> So these trees have little sprinklers under them and Crystal was like, stand, not stand under them, that's stupid. Stand next to them <laughs> so you can wet them up your leg. So the water kind of comes onto my leg and my leg feels fine now. So our instinct says that it wasn't a bee sting and it was probably just a March fly, which is kind of, okay, it's not just as bad. It's pretty bad because March fly stings up. Hurts. Yeah. Um, but, oh my God, I was going to say. <laughs> but uh, luckily it's not a bee sting. 28 years and still going strong. <laughs> Yeah. So it is 10.50 and we're done mainly because, well, we need to go now because I have work. Um, I don't know where Christmas bag is. I think it's in the back. But I don't want to bruise any of my fruit. This is my bag. <laughs> Quite full. Um, we had a bit of lunch there as well. Oh, I just lost the nectarine. Oh, no. But, yeah. Headed off. Going to go to work. Going to find my fruit. And... Probably won't vlog later on, but that's it. 
why do you not focus and then start recording good morning everybody it is friday morning um it's currently eight o'clock i have my laptop on so let me just quickly turn that on um i guess so christmas in australia well where i am anyway um we always get white cherries so only time of year when we get white cherries so um it's a must uh i found out that coles was getting some today so obviously i i mean i was ready up i literally came home had a half hour nap and then i was like yeah i got to go get them before i mean when i got there they hadn't even brought the box out so it was super early but um yeah i wanted to get some before they were all sold out but while I was there, I was like, I'm just going to get me a dome. But it sounded weird. It's like, like Nando's. Anyway, because I knew that they had like, they like, it's sort of like Christmas cup. Because the takeaway cups are normally green, which is kind of Christmassy anyway. But the red is just, I mean, it actually says, oh, Merry Christmas and stuff on it. But the main reason why I turn my camera on, I mean, other than to talk about cherries, is normally they have a, like glass dome thingy that has danishes in it and they didn't have any but i was like maybe it's early that's why they don't have any so i asked them if they have any and they had like a raisin scroll or something i was like oh i actually wanted like a proper danish um and they asked me if i wanted apricot or blueberry i said i wanted blueberry and they goes oh we can just make it for you i'm like okay so it's a freshly made Danish. I'm so excited. I have not had Danish in so long. Oh, but the blueberry stuck to the paper. Anyway, I'm going to go and watch another episode of Travellers. My grandma wants to go out to the Asian coasts again. So I probably will take her. Um, I'm going to go visit Tara because she's not feeling well and I haven't seen her in a while. So I thought I would just pay her a little visit. And where's my show gone? So yeah, I'm going to enjoy my little breakfast. I also got a chai latte because why not? Um, and yeah, so I guess I probably will vlog a little later on. But yeah, that that's it for now. So I've vlogged about this before. My grandma's the sort of person who will tell me at the last minute. By the way, I need to go here stresses me out so much so yeah i'm waiting for her in my car while she's in the chemist because um the chemist takes forever for every reason um and i have aircon in my car i don't like sitting in the chemist because it's boring um the one i normally go to i just kind of hang out in cold for a bit so um yeah but it's currently 12. I'm hopefully seeing Tara at 2. She's not feeling well, so I thought that I would um, go visit her for a little bit. But about like two weeks ago, I was at Carousel every single day. Miniso is open now, and I, like, I've only been to Miniso twice, and that was in Singapore. And now they've opened one in Carousel. I don't think I've heard of one open. I mean, this, I don't, definitely don't think there's one open in Perth. This would be the first one. Um, FYI, I'm super hungry. <laughs> I can feel my stomach's about to rumble. I had that Danish and chai latte this morning, that's it. Also, my sunnies are different because um, I left my other ones at the granny flat and I couldn't really go back into these. But I love these ones, <laughs> they're not as tinted as the other ones. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna Instagram a little bit while my grandma's inside. So I'm just here at Carousel. Probably a bad idea coming here, right close to Christmas. I really wanted to check out Minnesota though. So anyway, Carousel put up these signs that tell you how many bays are left in a certain area. Now I normally park here where Target is because it's easy. And normally there's a crap ton of bays. Obviously this close to Christmas there aren't many. And literally said there was one. I don't think I was super lucky to find this one. There's actually another one up there. I think another car wanted this one, but I'm like, it's right there. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I gotta go see Tara soon. <laughs> 
So I feel like this may have been a complete waste of time and fuel. It's just way too busy. Every single store I into in at Carousel, I was like, in and out. I'm like, no, I can't even look at things comfortably. And I don't like shopping that way. Um, so I think I'm just going to end up coming back to Minnesota after the new year. And everyone's gone back to work and it's died down a bit. Um, kids may have gone on holidays, and stuff, of course there was a lot of kids there. I forgot obviously being so close to Christmas, it's also school holidays, unfortunately for me. Um, so yeah, um, the only thing I bought today is such a waste. I think I'm a muzzy bite, something on my leg is all so itchy. Um, I had to buy a loaf of bread for dinner and I forgot that Woolies also do Korean face masks. So I picked up a couple of those. I haven't given these a go, but they look good. And they're Korean, and I always trust Korean skincare over anything else. So it's just a little past 1.30, so I'm gonna head off now. Um, it's double demerits, so I can't speed or anything, whatever. Anyway, try not to run yellow lights. So yeah, I think it's a good time for me to go, so I can just take it easy for a bit. Um, not sure if I'm gonna, I probably won't vlog when I'm at Tara, so I'll fingers crossed vlog when I'm at the Granny Flat.